Hello everybody and welcome to Benjamin Magnus Plays Rome Total War 1, not 2. Now I decided to give this game another run because I've been talking about Total War series a lot on my Discord and um, I went to replay this game just for my own sake and there was an article right on the Steam page uh, for this game. It was, well, when, when you go to launch and it gives you information about the game, it was right there and it listed Rome Total War, this first one is in the bottom three, is one of the worst Total War games ever made. And I have nothing but fond memories for this. So, I think I'm going to give it another go um, without any... You know, I haven't played this game since probably 2000, probably about 10 years. But I, I always really liked it. I always had a lot of fun with it. I played the hell of a, out of it when I was young. It came out when I was in high school. And so we're just going to hop right in. I'm going to put it on hard difficulty. I'm going to be playing as the Julii because... We, we, we were playing as Romans, and we want to be, uh, we want to have those nice, bright red shields. Uh, no battle time limit, manage all sediments. Yeah, that all sounds good. Make sure it's not on arcade, because we actually want a challenge here, and let's get into this. Gods. I hate Gauls. My grandfather hated them, too. Even before they put out his eyes. Did you think I'd be out here on the frontier without good reason? Yes. Rome needs a strong frontier. No. Rome doesn't need unwashed barbarians at her gates. So, that's why I'm here. The leader of the Julii. To bring Roman order to stinking Gauls. Revenge? That'd be good too. This war against the Gauls won't last long. And when it's done, I've got plans. This is all about power. Power in Rome. Going down that road means dealing with all my rivals. The Senate. The Greeks. Those Carthaginian elephant riders. The Scipii and the Brutii families, too. After all, the man who controls Rome rules the world. You know what I really liked about this game is the pre-battle harangues, the speeches. Oh, they were always so good. Well, usually. Usually they were pretty. Sometimes they were just like a quick like 10 seconds. And then it was like, let's go get them. Ah, but sometimes they were pretty cool. Okay, so we've got a mission already assigned by the Senate to take the settlement of Segesta. So let's see. That's right here. All right, so can't use WASD. Looks like we're going to be using the arrow keys here. Alrighty. Nice. Now, I had to turn anti-aliasing off. Uh, it's not really possible to record this game in Windows 10 with anti-aliasing on. It takes, I don't know why, but it takes a huge performance dump when you try that. At your service. And, we, and we can attach these to an army, I believe, right? On my way. Give them good, better, better sight range, I believe. I think so, but I'm not sure. But okay, let's see here. We let, let's merge these two armies together. We got some archers, triarii, Hastati, Hastati, some Vlites, Hastati, Hastati. So that's fine. A couple people at home to to manage the settlements. Management one. Ugh. Manage. Ooh. Management six. Good. That's probably the uh, income disparity there. You know what I could do? Um, here, let's take Quintus Julius here, shithead Magoo. Let's let us let us take put him in the field and then take um, Vibius here. Yeah, that actually saves me a good amount of money. Better administrator in um, uh, Arminium, and Aredium, Aredium, and Ar Aredium, and Arminium. Cool, I like it. All right, so we got to do some construction. Uh, I'm going to start with better roads, as that helps me out in a number of ways. Oh, a number of ways. Proof roads allow armies to assemble and then meet approaching enemies swiftly. Paved roads are built for military use first and foremost. They are carefully surveyed and constructed, often including cuttings and extensive causeways. They will not degenerate into muddy rivers in winter or dusty tracks in summer, no matter how hard the usage. 
I so I believe that those will increase movement speed, and I think that might actually help with trade, too. General. So let's just move this guy right up to the border here, and then... Yeah, I don't want to recruit any new units yet. Gaul wants trade rights. I'm actually going to say no. Because I know I'm going to be attacking Gaul. Okay, and I'm going to assault the siege of the settlement because it doesn't have any walls and I really want to hop into a battle in the first episode. And we are going to play it on the map. I know it's going to be super simple and easy, but I want to play it on the battle map. Because I remember, what I remember most about the battles in Rome, Total War, were them being very visceral and the units felt like they had weight to them. Do not fear these rebel slaves. They are only slaves and will die as easily as cattle. And remember this above all. Our Roman gods are watching. Make sure they are not ashamed. Ah, ah not ashamed. Ah, okay, yes, yeah, so let's start a deployment. Okay, so let's see here. Middle mouse button doesn't do anything. All right, so I've set WA... I set, okay, that, that should help a little bit. So I can zoom in and out. Hmm. I thought I set it up so I can pan the camera up and down. I guess we'll just have to use that. That is a very awkward... Hey, maybe we could change the camera type. RTS camera. Rome. Total War camera. Yes. Okay, let's try that one. Return to game. Alright, so now... That's a little bit better. I still... I, 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 I feel like I'm going to be very out of place without middle mouse button or... um. Uh, being able to pan the camera, but this is not too bad. All right, so let's take some Hastati. And we're just going to deploy, we're, we're going to surround them a little bit. Deploy a couple right here. I'm going to take the other two. I'm going to put them up on this side over here. Because we're going to be fighting in the town. And let's see, let's grab the, uh, the archers. We'll leave the archers over here too. Let's put the Triarii. A little off to the side. Jerry or I are spearmen, so I could fight in a thinner line. Let's go four ranks deep. And yeah, we'll just uh, disperse these guys a little bit and start the battle up. It shouldn't be too terribly difficult, like I said. Oh, uh, the oh the camera just panned. Panned up. Oh god. Oh, there we go. Okay. It's A, A, and uh, I, I got it up to uh, w, w and S. I, 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 okay, there we go. That's... Alright, so, oh! Middle mouse button zooms in. Okay, that's... Uh, okay, it's... My, my modern, modern gaming sensibility and, and you know, just what I, what I naturally feel is normal for keys um, doesn't translate into how it was ten years ago and I'm having a little bit of trouble here. All right, so let's zoom over here. Let's grab these Hestati. Oh, I, could, I don't know why I just did that. I think I must have accidentally middle mouse buttoned. All right. Let's move them up here. Let's take the cab and move them around. So move them here and then have them move there. And yeah, let's go speed three. I remember loving the the impact of units hitting each other especially like if you get cav really slamming into like an exposed flank that is cool in this game it really loses it after uh medieval 2 when they went to the the until it's like the total total war engine 3 or something like that really lose that visceral quality of of combat move on in you guys too move on in like right up here Archers right behind. I can do flaming arrows. I can't do flaming arrows. All my Hastati have um, Pila with them. Basically, uh, short throwing spears or javelins, if depending on your philosophical bent. Let's make sure they are actually set up to use them. So let's grab them. Able fire at will mode. Oh, where are you guys going? Here, you guys need to head up like this way. And let's have them run. Did 
Double click. They should do. Do they run if you double click? No. You gotta tell them to run. So let's. Uh, where are you guys going? Taking the long way around. I see. Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna surround these guys. Try to hit them from two sides. I know I don't need to put this much thought into so, so simple of a battle. I just I want to. The camera controls in particular, I want to get, you know, used to again. Where'd these guys go? I don't see, I don't even see them. Oh, they're way out over here. One thing I think was really nice about, I think they edited it in, I want to say Shogun 2 was when you uh, had ranged units... It gave you a little, when you had them selected, it gave them a little, uh, indicator of where they could shoot. I actually want to get my archers in here, see if they can hit these guys. So this way, all you have, all you could do is basically grab them and wait for the indicator to change and see what happens. Alright, there we go. Archers are firing. So we should see some arrows flying down in here. Now let's turn on flaming arrows so we can see them better. You guys not firing? Come on, guys. What's wrong? I'm hearing the, 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 like, thoo, 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 of, like, the arrows going off, but I'm not seeing anything. All right, let's tell those guys to get out of, out of dodge. And I'm just going to have these guys move in and throw their Pila. And the same thing with these guys. They're going to move in and throw their Pila. And then we're going to charge them. Ah. Uh. Throw your Pila! They're right there! Okay, they they charged me. Alright, so screw the Pila. Charge in. Alright, so let's see if we can pan down a little bit. Yeah, that's a better angle. Oh, they're not okay, now they threw them. Oh, there they Oh Jesus! See, this is what I mean by um like the visceral quali quality of of combat. Like the units they they bump into each other and they feel feels like there's weight to the impact. Where I, I don't know if you guys have played any of the more modern ones. I'm sure if you're watching this, you probably have. But you know, you know, units would just mush together, and you could fit, you could take, you, you know, in this, you could fit ten thousand men in this square without any trouble whatsoever. They would just all mash in there in a big mosh pit. All the units would clip through each other, and they didn't have this, like, the guys in the back can't reach the guys in the front, kind of, uh, you know, this is what I mean by unit collision. You now, it doesn't have that, it doesn't have that cool, like, you zoom in and watch people, you know, you know, having, like, an epic duel or anything like that. But I'd rather have unit collision and that visceral game quality than, uh, than, than some, some, like, cheap... Well, I'm sure it wasn't cheap to make it, but um, it's just a, just a gimmick, really. Turn left. Yeah, there we go. Charge! The enemy general is running. Ah, yeah, punch him in the face. Be praised. The enemy general is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Yeah, they do. Look at all that doom. That's a big pile of doom. All right, so let's just beep. This is a heroic victory. Mm-hmm. Heroic indeed. That was the most heroic victory in all of the Clan Magnus. Victory! Damn straight. Settlement We're gonna captured. occupy the settlement because we do want to. We we want to integrate it. We want to keep that population. Uh, I'm going to throw up some walls, and then make sure we put in some roads. I'm going to keep those guys there for a hot second. Oh, they wanted to take another one. Uh, Mediolanum. 
Oh, yeah, see? Those are the Gauls. Gallic army. Why don't we probably should wait until... You know what we'll do? Um, let's build some town watch here. And we can send them up to Segesta. Because I don't think they can build any units here. Nope, just peasants. Turns a tidy little profit there. A suitable husband. This man is a suitable addition to the family. Do you want him to marry your noble daughter? Command three, management one, influence one, superior commander, true Roman. Plus one influence improves the chance of getting elected in senatorial office. 5% bonus your popularity in Senate and a bureaucrat. Plus one to management, plus one to... Yeah, I like that. I'll take him. Uh, that was uh, this guy right here. What's his name? Uh, Valerius Ignatius. Valerius, uh, why don't you go... You'll be the new governor of Segesta when I leave. Which will be soon. Let's grab the uh, the town watch and throw them up here. And then we'll wait for our... Let's wait one turn. I think everybody needs to heal up. Can we do that here or do we need to wait? Huh. I don't really remember which... Because I know as the temples rank up, they give you different bonuses. Uh, I don't remember which ones do which. So I'm just going to put in a Shrine to Jupiter here to help keep the peace. I'm going to wait one turn and see if the the units heal up or if I need to pull them back. No, I think they need to be in a town. Like, with, with the building that can make them for them to heal up. Alright, so let's go ahead and do a, a land clearance and then a trader. Easy as can be. Or what do we want here? Let's fortify our position before anything else. And let's give our army a turn and see if they heal up. I don't remember how this it works in this game. It looks like it went up, right? Or do you have to do it in here? Ah! There you go. I thought it happened manual, uh, automatically. You gotta manually do it. That's okay. Trade rights, I'm sorry, but I have to attack you. The Senate told me to. I am the Senate. Okay. Who's this? Brigands. Brigands in my land. I might just have to uh, do an auto-resolve here, don't I? So, good management. So, I'm going to take these three guys. Uh, let's take one extra unit of Hastati. Let's attack these brigands. And let's give him a new, a new unit. No, let's give him, uh, he'll keep his one, uh, cohort of Hastati. Give him some town watch to work with. Income is still good. So I'm going to keep building. Um, let's go ahead and do the traders in each of these towns. That'll increase my income. Population growth and increase in tradable goods. So much nostalgia. I love it. Yeah, get him. Should we, uh, open field battle? Should we... Let's go ahead and play it. I know it's a, just a little one, but again, I just want to, I want to, you know, step in, you know, to the shallows first. The auspices have been taken, and gods be praised, nothing can be found to deny us victory today. With such portents, we need only march upon the enemy. Over there, the rebel slaves stand to threaten us all. Should they win, at best we will all die beneath their cruel whips. It turns my stomach just to gaze on Oh, they're disgusting. They have been brought to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. By this time tomorrow... Our sword arms will ache from over you! Yeah, we're gonna kill them all, the bastards! How dare, how dare the slaves rebel against us? Alright, so let's go ahead and before we start, let's just grab our Hastati and put them in a group. And then just start the battle. Okay, so there they are. So we'll take our Hastati group. And let's move them over here. Ooh, they all, they all, okay, so when they're in a group, it looks like they all, 
hold their formation. They're at the bottom of this hill. That's not good for them. Uh, let's just bring the troops in behind them. Uh, hit space. There, we'll be able to see them. And I'm going to take the cavalry. I'm going to bring them over here. I'm going to tell them to run into these trees over here. If I remember correctly, general units in this game are real good. Oh, they're in a real bad spot. Ah! Let's, let's go over there and see what, what they're working with. Shift. Ah, yeah, there we go. So we've got... Oh, let's, let's slow them down. There we go. So it looks like they're just some Vlites. Their own Rebel Hastati. Um, general unit and some more Vlites. So I'm basically trying to take the high ground in front of them. Force them into a... Uh, well, if they go up the slope, that means I gotta charge at them, so... So we're just gonna hold this position right here. And wait for our units to move in. Are they charging? I say, they thought about it. They just came over to say hello. So let's just line up in the field in front of them. Let's tell our men to uh, hustle over there. Fire at will. And let's bring the archers in too. And I'm pretty sure in this game, you have to... You can accidentally fire into the backs of your own men. Oh, are they coming at me? Here, let's move the cav in. Right over on this flank here. Let them come. Look at my brave soldiers. They're gladiuses. Oh, wrong way. Triarii, I'm gonna have you over on this side here. Not that you, the, now that we need to go to the tri Triarii. All right, so I'm gonna tell these guys to just book it across the field here. I think the the cav is probably we're probably not gonna make it to the cav. Are they gonna throw? Are we gonna throw in range? Come on, guys. Almost got it! Yeah! Any kills? Ah, eh, we took out a couple. Nice. I'm gonna chase him down! Let's actually bring the Triarii in, just in case they want to engage us. Oh, yeah! There we go! Oh, okay, they're coming at us now. Uh, there's the tree REI. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. They routed me. Look at that. Okay, let's chase them down. Let's hit their their men with my... Ah! They're being smart. They routed two of my units with heavy casualties. Wheel around, hit him in the flank. Okay. I'm sure you guys are not on fire. Well, I think I hold down alt. Alt, there we go. Charge in. Yeah, there he goes. Generally slain, and now his men feel Oh, that was it. The enemy are Okay, cool. That was cool. My, I sent my men too far out ahead, and they took heavy losses from a cavalry charge because the um, the the, the normal infantry is not very good at fighting the cav. All right, so we've got how many turns left to finish our mission? So there's a cat walking around my desk right now. Ooh, only four turns, so we need to we need to book it. We didn't need to fight those guys, but I wanted to. Out of move, sir. And if we want, we can hire in some mercs to try to supplement our forces. Some barbarian mercenaries. I think I'm going to leave those out, though. I don't think we need them. I'm going to keep spending my money as it's coming in. See what the sewers do. Public health, public order, population, population growth. 
Okay. At this time, it would be a sound strategy to build a shrine to Bacchus in this settlement. This shrine grants loyalty benefits to the settlement. Okay. Okay, here, I was looking for the actual health and stuff like that. So, uh, farming, population growth is uh, negatively affected by squalor. There's public order. Here's income. Devastation in the progress by forces are... Uh, Total running costs are divided up according to settlement size. Okay, so the larger the settlement is, the more they're uh, foot in the bill. New settlement on battle map. Set the settlement as the faction's capital. Show trade summary skull. Ah, so here's the trade good stuff. Okay. So they, the, the, they suggested a temple to Bacchus, so let's go ahead and do that. And again, I, I'm, I'm thinking we need to work on our economy. Make sure that's set. So let's do a market here. And do you have movement? You do. March. I always loved the music in this game. Engage the enemy. Yup, fuck you. Uh, so they do have... Some defenses. So we ha we'd have to actually bust our way in. Siege. So I think we only have two more turns to do this, so we're probably only going to get two thingies done. Let's actually double check. Two more turns. So we have one turn to build our, our battering rams, and then the next turn we have to go in. Man, the defenses! Agent found. Enemy agent has been found, but he escaped. Should be hunted down, and his corpse displayed is an awful warning. Okay. A lot of people are at war. Alright, so now we have to assault. And yeah, why don't we go ahead and uh, let's do this ourselves again. Again, just trying to wade in easily. This is our first siege battle. I was hoping to just, you know, that first battle, I was like, let's just do this to make sure we get one battle in the first episode. Now I'm working on three. I know it's almost time for you to eat, but not quite. Only a fool cares for omens and portents. No matter how bad they may be, we make our own destinies, and we are not ruled by the flight of some damn bird. Mm. These goals do not need your fear. Cold steel will bring them down, just like any other man. That does look cold. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall, as if that will protect them. Those people have never met us on a field of battle. After today, they will flee at the sound of our approach. Sounds good to me. Brave Romans, prepare to defend yourselves! Prepare to defend yourselves! Did this come out? I think this came out before we were soldiers. Well, so maybe this is the uh, origin of that line. Prepare to defend yourselves! So let's take a... Uh, uh, let's detach you from the ram. Let's detach you from the ram. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the ram to the... The Triarii, and I'm going to give one to one of the fresher units. And we're going to bop down a wall here, and we're going to bop down a wall there. And everybody else is just going to hang on back. And wait for gaps to form. Okay, so, wall. Wall. Oh, that's so cool. I may need to turn the music down a little bit. I feel like in post-production it's going to come off as a little loud. So the... Okay, the tower is firing at these guys. Yeah, I can see the arrows coming in. Left a couple men behind. Clipping right through the ground, is he? So they're all just sitting at the back. There's no, uh, this is just a palisade. There's no actual, um, area to defend. There's no, uh, top, uh, so no crenellations to fire from. Cool. And the Triarii have made it as well. Spearmen. Alright, 
so there we go. Let's just watch this. Oh, cool. I didn't realize there was a... It would actually uh, bust in like that. I didn't remember that they had a... A damaged unit model, basically. Damaged wall model. Awesome. Show no mercy! The enemy walls are down! Make sure their soldiers are buried beneath the ruins! Okay, Triarii in. Stati in. Let's send the, uh, Cav in too. Make sure they run. Because all we gotta do is rush up here, surround these guys, and stabby, stabby, stabby! It's just two units. In the future, I'll probably avoid, uh, I'll just auto-resolve these little battles. Just because, you know, they're just little battles. Our soldiers have captured the walls! Now is the time to press on and capture this place! So the Triarii should be really good at fighting these calves. So I'm gonna try to hit them with the... With the Triarii, because they're spearmen. Now the... You saw the, uh, the... The rebel... Cavalry just absolutely mow through one of my units. Actually penetrate it and come out the backside. Triarii running? Is that as fast as they can? No, they're not running. I will say, move faster, guys. We're gonna do this with a uh, minimum of, of uh, troops. Well, with some troops. These guys up. Let's have them go over this way. Epic battle. Epic battle music. Even though this is not too epic of a battle. Run in. Charge in. Pila! Away! Oh, yeah, they're too smart for me. They came right for the, uh... The weaker units. So what we're gonna do is have the Triarii break off and try to hit these guys. Oh no! They're still trying to fling at the warband. Hey, where are you guys going? Right there, right there. Go ahead. Oh, you're, you're going the wrong way, guys. Alright, I guess it's too late now. Cav! Save the day! Boom! Where's the other one? Okay, so the ca the cavalry charged to the rear, saved the day. The tr Triarii got stuck face because these guys ended up facing the the opposite troops of what I intended, but you know shit happens. Uh, no, I don't want you to actually throw. I just want you to charge in. Cav two, get some running room. Boom! Ah, oh, it feels so good. Watching the people fly it actually feels like there's weight to the impact. So that their AI was smart. They took their cavalry and they immediately charged the guy they could fight and away from the spears. Yeah, squash them together between the two forces. Alright, only 50 men left. So let's just end it. All Rome will be amazed at such a Damn straight they will. So we actually healed up a lot of those Histadi that lost there. That that fell in the battle, they managed to heal back up. Victory! Okay, so Mediolatum is mine now. So we're gonna occupy the settlement. Same thing, Senate mission successful. Unit of Triarii has been awarded to me. I want to make sure we have roads. And I think what we're going to do is call it an episode right here because we're just about 35 minutes in. Thank you for watching, everybody. I do appreciate it. If you have liked the video, don't forget to uh, you know click that like button. Subscribe if you're interested in, in more. And uh, give it a share if you uh, feel there's someone else who could appreciate some Rome total war in their lives. And oh my, there's a rebel army besieging me. I'm going to have to deal with that. But we'll do that tomorrow. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time.